try to look for the agent that we use for let's say we we call it biological agents our conception is like this our conception is uh, what to call it? this one so in a in in the soil yeah around the rhizosphere of plant there are a lot of rhizobacteria so we would like to our focus now is uh, we would like to utilize this rhizobacteria to uh, support the plant growth and also to suppress the plant pathogens and then improve the soil fertility. These systems we would like to develop actually. This is the conception. This rhizobacteria, they are, they, they are existing here in the rhizosphere of rice, rhizosphere of uh, many plants. But the most important point now is that uh, we would like to isolate them. We would like to take them, purify them, and then we use to support the plant growth. Here the system is just we, I, I, I draw here just uh, for rice actually. So the system is by using rhizobacteria we can uh, improve the soil fertility, we can suppress the plant pathogen, we can improve the plant growth. The finally, our goal is uh, to increase the yield. Okay, this is our conception. Yes, now we are talking about rice. Actually. This is uh, rice. You already know that uh, sixty percent of the world population now is uh, then uh, let's say uh, they consume rice, actually. And then the demand for Indonesia, we need about thirty-four million tons. And then we import about 2.5 million. But uh, the rice productivity, I think, in Thailand or in Thailand, how many? Yes, tons uh, per we, we excess. You know, we have over five. Yeah, five five ton per hectare. Yes. Now in Indonesia, average is 4.5 ton per hectare. Yeah. If we talk about Australia, they have 9.5. That's pretty high. And then Japan, 6.65 ton per hectare. This is pretty high. This uh, there is a gap. There is a difference between uh, Indonesia and also in Australia and Japan. Mm -hmm. So there is a possibility for us to increase the rice yield. So we, we, I think we can increase this one. There are many factors actually uh, influencing uh, the rice production system. This in Indonesia we have a consecutive rice production system. Rice, rice and rice. <laughs> so this uh, maybe you already heard that we have the law of diminishing return because the what you call the decrease of the soil fertility and then the, some, some, let's say, implemental condition or something like that, that mean that uh, the input factors that we use for rice production tend to increase by year. Like uh, uh, we use a fertilizer, synthetic fertilizer like nitrogen, ah. phosphorus, and also PK. potassium, yeah. and PK, yeah. tend to increase. Mm -hmm. I think in early 1970s, we used only 100 kilograms per hectare, but now 400 kilograms per <laughs> hectare. Increase, increase, and increase. And then in balance use of fertilizer, I think this is uh, what we call it. We only use uh, NPK, but uh, actually, in fact, uh, the, let's say, the rice, they need more than, not just NPK, but they need also micro elements. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, but the farmers never use that never add to, into the soil. And then pest and disease, I think, in, in Thailand also, you yes, have yes. a lot of pest and disease, this one, yeah. like uh, tangro and then also uh -huh. uh, blast, yeah. Yeah. Uh, brown plant herbivores. Yes, that yes. one. This is blast. Mm. Very serious in Indonesia. <laughs> this, this is a symptom. Yeah. Very serious. It's a fusarium? No. Blast? Particularly yeah. or I say this Light. one. Yeah. It's blast. Yeah. Pericularia oryce. This oh, is the, the fungi. Mm. This is the characteristic of the, the coastal agent. This one. So we are trying to look for the agents. In one hand, they can suppress the growth of these pathogens from the rice sphere of rice, and then also other plant. This is our 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 research actually, and then to support uh, this uh, uh, let's say company. This is we have a lot of isolates. Mm. We already isolated a lot, of maybe more than 100 isolates from different mm. plants. Mm. Especially our focus is graminae 
and leguminosa. Do you know leguminosa? Legum. Legum. Yes, okay. legum. Yes, graminella, cereal, cereal crop. This one. This is leguminosa like uh, what do you call it? Soybean also leguminosa. Okay. So this is uh, just a laboratory screening method that we deploy by ourselves. We deploy this one in the laboratory. Uh, to know the capacity of uh, the rice bacteria to promote the plant growth to be blocked by our surface. Well. This is interesting, right? The rice uh, bacteria that we use in this experiment, you can look at here that the, the lateral roots of this seedling much more here than the control. Mm. You can look at here. A lot of uh, lateral roots. A lot of hairs, root hairs. Mm. This means rhizobacteria, uh, let's say, work to improve the root system of the plant. Okay? If you look at the plant, like this. A lot of root hairs. Yeah. Yeah. This is control, this one is uh, rhizobacteria. By this root system, of course, the plant can absorb more nutrients from the soil. So can support more growth, mm -hmm. so they can improve the growth. Right. Yeah, okay. This, one. this is uh, if you look at uh, under microscope. This one, this lateral root and then root hair, a lot of root hair here. Okay. This is the control. Oh. This is the treated one with uh, Lysobacteria. You can look at here. The this is a, a greenhouse experiment. This one is a untreated rice. This is uh, we put rhizobacteria here. This is the tillers. A lot of tillers here. Only a few tillers here. Very significant difference. Okay. And then also if you look at the, the root system. This one treated, treated, treated. But this one the control. control. But a little bit longer. But the total volume of the what do you call it? Uh, the roots it's much, let's say, more here mm. than the control. But the, the mechanism, of course, they improve the root system. Okay. If you look at this, uh, the yield, the yield of <coughs> this is control one, the yield also higher. Mm. Very significant high. This is a greenhouse experiment. So we are trying to, uh, let's say, implement our uh, result of a study yes, to the field. This is the field condition. This uh, sunlight, we use this one, sunlight, uh, we used to soak the rice seed. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know this, are you familiar with this? Yeah, yeah. So we, ah. we, we put one, one, one liter, yeah. and then we put 29 liters clean water. Oh, one to 29. One 29, yes, one to 29. So we soak for two hours. Two hours? Yes. Yeah. Of course, this uh, seed is uh, already germinated. Yeah, yeah. It's just a little that bit slightly germinated. Okay? We soak for two hours and then we sow here in the seed bed. Mm -hmm. This one, seed bed, and then this is grow. Very nice. If you compare, uh, no. This one. This is for uh, seed treatment and foliar and soil treatment. We just uh, one part for 49 part. Okay? This one, if you compare this one, this control one, this is treated one. Mm. Longer <laughs> suit and better root. Mm. Okay? It's actually, it worked very well. This one, yeah? And then, Bring the document, this one. Yeah. Yeah. Every, our target now is uh, we would like to increase the yield, price mm. yield, right. in one hand. But we would like to reduce the use of chemical. synthetic chemical. That is why uh, our peel experiment now is uh, we have a uh, three treatment. The first one is uh, treatment with 50% synthetic. We reduce 50% synthetic, but we we use 50% organic fertilizer dose mm. here. This one. This one is 100% uh, synthetic. But we put 100 organic fertilizer dose. One by one. One by one. 
And then the, the, the third one, of course, this only 100% synthetic fertilizer. Mm -hmm. This conventional, we call it conventional rice farming system that implemented by the purpose. Okay. Mm -hmm. We compare this one, and then you can look at the, the performance. This is the data. So this control, okay, conventional. We use 400 kilogram synthetic fertilizer per hectare. This one, 50%, this mean 200 kilograms of synthetic fertilizer, mm -hmm. and 50% of organic fertilizer, that means only, 20, uh, only 10 liters, 10 liters of this, yeah. okay? And then this one, uh, what, this one, ten, uh, this one, 100, 400 kilograms synthetic fertilizer, and 20 liters of sunlight. Here, if we look at the yield, the conventional one is 6.45. This, uh, let's say, the less synthetic fertilizer treatment, 7.08, and then that 100 and 100 is 10.20. <laughs> this is the result. Oh, but the yield in increases are 9.76%. Mm -hmm. For this treatment, we use less synthetic pesticide, uh, synthetic chemical, 50%. But here, if we use this one plus our product, the yield increase becomes nearly 60%. Mm -hmm. Nearly 60%. Okay. If you look at economic analysis, the, the cost for rice production on average in Bali, especially, 8 million per hectare. It million how many dollars? It million eleven juta. Yes, uh, about uh, about uh, yeah. ten. Uh, nine hundred. About nine hundred dollars. Yeah. Took up some good And hear about this one, and then if we use uh, our product, we only need an extra cost two hundred thousand. Only twenty dollars. Yeah. Okay. Twenty five dollars something like that. But we we earn. 2.2 million rupiah. Addition of 200,000, we earn 2.2 million rupiah. If we calculate the BC ratio, benefit and cost ratio, 11. Mm. This means highly profitable. This also, we need more about extra money, we need another 1 million. But we earn 13 million. Mm. This also profitable. So now, this a matter of choice. We would like to choose this one, or we would like to choose this one. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. if we would like to, what do you call, reduce the water pollution, soil pollution from skin cat, synthetic fertilizer, we can choose this one. Uh, yeah. This is very important. Because uh, we reduce the yes. synthetic, synthetic fertilizer. Yeah. But improve the soil. Improve the soil. In my opinion, we choose this one. <laughs> Thank you. This is the top. Oh, okay. Thank you, Professor. Good.